Well, this is the second episode now that I'm going to deal with you as a 21st century human being. Educated, efficient, decent, and manly. Where is justice in Guyana? When many have been victimized wrongfully because of their race or their party affiliation that they're back. Or maybe, and I recommend, if you are a black woman or man, don't go before an Indian judge or magistrate who back in the PPP or a Hindu religion or Muslim, you go into jail. And if you happen to be an Indian, you go between a black man, judge or magistrate, you go into jail because the two of you are living on behalf of racism, corruption and destruction. All I'm saying, I want you, David Granger, the honorable leader, man that I still believe can save Guyana and give justice. You, Mr. Ramjatan, who came out from the PPP because of the wrong thing they've done, and you're right. Now you have the opportunity, as what I'm going to say, Prime uh, Home Affairs Minister, like Mr. Nagamutu, to sit down and iron it out and know what wrong was done to you, make you join the PNC and form Abdul. I wanted justice. I don't want a giant Venezuela to get justice or Suriname or another country to get justice. I don't care how many drugs you sell, how many money your laundry. That's not my effing business. I believe all man and woman must be treated equally. Whether you're black, you're brown, you're yellow, or you're green. That's what I believe in. I don't care what you do, provided justice prevails. People elect government because they want changes. Law and order of any country must be the number one priority. Not a lawyer walking a court when a case is being taken against a man and his neighbors and his brothers also get sued. But a, ju a lawyer such as Dali Sukdeo, who will win the devil in hell if the price is right, depends upon the corrupt judge. I happen to be one of that victim into that where Royston Chung and Michael Chung and I, half-brothers, own a property at Latry Bagastown. We all were sued. The transport got all our name by Ali. Yasin Ali, a man who is a thief from birth until he dead and now he children have that curse. I have no apology for this shit. And there's a certain man who is in government or was in government and big in the law enforcement had sex with a man's sister and maybe pregnancy. I don't want to call name yet. I'm not afraid of that man neither, nor his children, or nobody. I'm going to tell you straight. Anything come out of my mouth, I got video, I got proof, and I'm willing to go down to the grave with it. I know one thing. No man live forever. And this is a message to all you corrupt fuckers. I want justice. So you, Mr. Ramjatan, Mosim Nagamutu, and the Chancellor, and the Attorney General, Mr. Basel, I want you to look into my case of Latry Bagastong, Yasin Ali versus Chong and Koraya. And I ask this question, how can Dali Sukdeo, one of the greatest lawyers in the century of Guyana history, won a case, get her case called against me, where my brother take me, while there was a dispute with the neighbor. And long, long after, Insan Ali declared Mr. Ali the winner when he's on my land. Is, is now you're making I believe that Venezuela is right. Because we got transport plan to show, but yet Ali win us. If you have to get 40 feet and I have to get 40, how you get 44 and I got 36 and you still win me? Answer me, Mrs. Insanali, Diane, were you on drugs? Are you retarded? I'm not accusing you because I didn't get the report, but Mr. Ali, with your advice, built his fence up on my land. He bribed the police of Providence and people in the government who handle his case too. You Indian corrupt fuckers. I'm calling you all to correct it. Look into it to correct it. If you lock me up, I'm a citizen of the U.S. And I know they're going to come to my rescue. Many things will happen after them. All I want is justice. I don't give you I'll kill one another. Give me justice or give me death. Give me freedom or give me death. That's all my message to all of you. You sinful creature. For a dollar bill and a position, you all sell your soul. Are you fuckers not ashamed? Huh? But yet you lock up an ordinary little black boy who pickpocket, who rob a store. You lock him up, but you join to rob people, but you want it to be called honorable judge, honorable prime minister, honorable attorney general. What honorable about y'all?
when you are a part of the fucking crime. I'm not blaming none of you, you know, general statement. But I wanted you all to crown Dolly Sukdeo as Guyana's greatest female attorney that will win any case, even in hell, providing the price is right. And corrupt judges sit down there like Mr. Harry. All right? Think of it. And I mean dirty Harry. So, my dear, look into it and tell me if I am wrong. Where is it? I'm not fighting for property money and land and fighting for what is right. You black people in Guyana who are ruling it now, as you have done before, you cry out that you were enslaved and wrong was done to you and you're right. But uh, when you get power you are doing the same fucking thing in the 21st century by using the police who's one of you, the soldier who's one of you, because Guyana is not Africa, 99% of them is you and the law with some stupid <coughs> coolie corrupt fucker who killed Gandhi and divide India for a few dollars and a position and you calling yourself leaders? Y'all should be ashamed, man. Correct it. I have nothing against y'all. So Mr. David Granger, Joseph Harmon, I was made to understand from a telephone conversation from Guyana that they are planning to jail Karaya or kill him. And I'm coming because that conversation is also in some people's hands out here who have a target. With the click of their finger they could change your destiny. So I'm coming. All I want is justice, man. You all bow to coffee. You call him a hero, but he was a revolutionist, not an opportunist, man. Please, and if you give me my justice and check it, I'm not begging for it. I want to check it out. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Check it out clear. Give me justice, and the Kuli government under the PPP shall not, will not, will not be back in there again, and they must be investigated. Because the property of nationalization from Burnham was sold to friends and family. Why? Answer me. Where is the struggle of freedom? And who suffer? We're not even touching Rodney or any of Dublin yet. And I don't even think about Vincent Tika, another traitor. But all I'm saying to you, we want justice. If not, Guyana belong to all of us. Or it shall and will be for none of us. Check your nation, check your border. A lot of underhand deal is happening right at your border. I don't care how many drugs you all sell. If America, Canada and England want to buy it, drugs them out, that's their problem because they should know better. I don't care my money you laundry, like the little the Cayman Island and Panama. That's your business. All I want is justice, man. I don't think I'm asking for nothing more. Every young black man. Indian man, Chinese man, Portuguese man, Omer Indian and Dogla man need justice. Every woman in the same category. And that is what I'm asking for. Reveal it and look into it carefully. Too many underhand deal. Policemen robbing people. Before the, were soldiers and Sharma tired have those complain. It's time to bring decency into the armed force, the police force. Give them land to build their own dream home. Help them with some money so they can pay a little to the bank and check out the Guyana Bank that give permission for a loan and deny it without a reason and interrogate people because they are talking about deportation. Jesus was fucking running from country to country like Dr. Jagan was thrown out of American band for 10 years. Gandhi was thrown out of South Africa. So that is Kuli. You Kuli, not Indian. You Kuli know your fucking history. Okay? Do you know what is a matter of deportation? No man was deported and returned back to the country of deportation and go back home to stand up on full George tongue with flyers fighting political thing against corruption. But everything you've done to him and you've done to others belonging to him, your time is coming. It's not a threat, it's a message. If you shout, you will hear your voice back. And if you punch, you must be punched back. But let's put those fucking things aside. Unite. Hold Guyana together, make it a better place so we could deal with humanity and add racism and corruption of party politics. Long live David Granger, long live Joseph Harmon, long live the law, but change it and check it out. That's all I want. Justice.